Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at how to use the customer account receivable dashboard. And we're just going to look at how, first of all, to load the data into the customer invoice detail tab uh, and table that we've created so that that information will populate on the main dashboard. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight the entire column six all the way through to the 115. We're going to go right click and delete. Now that we've done that, we're going to select the customer number at the top here or that field. I'm just going to hit control tab and that's going to bring me over to my sheet with the additional information that I want to load into the table. And one of the things that we want to make sure of is that all of the data that we have here or the column headers and column fields match exactly to the layout that we have on the table. That way, when we bring this data in, it's all going to match up uh, evenly and correctly. So if you do have some missing information, um, the only thing that I would suggest that you don't have missing uh, and blank is going to be the order number, uh, I'm sorry, the customer number, invoice date, due date, invoice number, customer PO number and amount owing must all be there, but the order number is not necessary in this case. Okay, so let's just copy that information. You'll see at the top that uh, those field names will match up with what we have on our dashboard. So if I hit control V or I right click and I paste that information into our table, you'll see that everything has been populated over to the right uh, with zero values for the each of the aging categories. Uh, those fields anywhere from column H all, over, all the way over to column L, we're not going to want to touch. Uh, now that we've put that information into our table though, we're going to just double click uh, the right or the box in the bottom right hand corner of that cell it's going to automatically populate all that information for us. And you'll see that there's a formula in that days past due that does the calculation based on your invoice date and the due date. Um, once it tells us what our days past due is, it's going to use that information on each of the aging categories to decide how much owing uh, is going to be within each of those groups based on the days that uh, the invoice is past due. So you'll see that that's there and then you'll see over here that you can how we calculated each of those uh, fields from 30 to 60 0 to 30 60 to 90 and then greater than 90 days down at the bottom you'll also see the totals for each of those categories so that's just another note and a bonus so i appreciate you guys checking this out uh, this video was just a quick demonstration of how to use the dashboard uh, we'll see you next time thanks